When the automatic import methods described in Lessons 2 and 3 are not available, there are a few other ways to get a citation into Zotero, which I will describe in this lesson. You can import a bibliographic data file, add an item with the New Item button, or if you know an identifier, use the magic wand icon. You can also drag and drop files into the Zotero interface. Drag and drop is as simple as it sounds. If you take a document from your computer and drag it into the Zotero browser extension, it will be saved in your library. If you hold it over an existing citation, it will become attached to that citation. If you hold it between citations, it will become independent of any existing citations in your library. Double-click the item and it will open as an attachment in your web browser. In this case, I have the file in name, but you can see that there are no item details like I have with my other citations. To add them, there are a couple different ways. I could use the new item button, select a journal article, and type or copy in the applicable information. Then to associate the document with the citation, I can drag it onto the citation itself. Let me show you a different way. I'll delete this. In this case, the DOI is listed here at the top of the article. I can use the magic wand icon, enter the DOI, press enter, and Zotero found the item details for me so I don't have to put them in myself. It looks like they missed the abstract, so I could always come into the document and copy and paste that item in. I can still drag my PDF onto the citation to associate them. You can also use PubMed ID numbers as identifiers or perhaps ISBNs, like the ones commonly listed in the syllabus. In the next lesson, I'll discuss how to edit imperfect citations, as well as how to add notes and tags to your citations. If you need more help, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian at library.uttyler.edu.